Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to turn day to night in a Fendi photo. We'll do two different methods to create this effect. As you can see, each method produced a different nighttime look. Now, let's do method one of how to turn day to night. First, go to File Open and select the picture of the boat in the lake. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image. Label the duplicated image Copy. Next, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select Curves Adjustment. Click in the center to add a point and drag the point down to the area you see on the screen. This will darken the image. For this picture, the x-axis of the point is 0.576 and the y-axis is 0.208. This will vary depending on the picture you use, but you can darken the picture to your own likeness. In the Layers panel, label this layer Darken. Now, click the Adjustments icon and select the HSL Adjustment. We'll use this adjustment to desaturate the picture. Set the saturation shift to negative 55%. Label this layer desaturate. In the layers panel, click the add pixel layer icon to add a new layer. Double click in the swatches panel to bring up the color chooser. Type in the following hex code. 546BAB. This is the shade of blue that we'll use for the nighttime look. With the pixel layer still selected, go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color to fill the pixel layer with the color we just chose. In the layers panel, set the blend mode to multiply and lower the opacity to 25%. We're now going to replace the sky. In the Layers panel, turn off the Filled Pixel layer and the Adjustment layers. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Make sure the Copy layer is selected. In the Context toolbar, make sure Add is selected and that the Snap to Edges box is checked. Take the brush and select the sky. If you select an area you don't want to select, press and hold the Alt key and go back over that area to deselect it. Now, press Ctrl, Shift, and the I key to invert the selection so that the land, the lake, and the boat is selected. Or go to the Select menu and click Invert Pixel Selection. Then, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the selection onto a new layer. Label the new layer Lake and turn the copy layer off. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to File Open and select the sky image. Copy the sky image and paste it onto our document. In the Layers panel, drag the sky layer beneath the lake layer and label it sky. Next, go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Grab the Move tool and resize the sky image as you see it on the screen. To zoom out, press and hold the Control key and roll the ball of your mouse down. Or grab the Zoom tool from the Tools panel. Press Control and 0 to return back to 50% zoom. In the Layers panel, turn the Adjustment Layers and the Filled Pixel Layers back on. Go to the Adjustments icon and select the Brightness and Contrast Adjustment. We can brighten this picture a little bit. Set the Brightness to 25% and the Contrast to negative 4%. In the Layers panel, select the Sky layer and all the layers above it. Make sure the Copy layer and the original boat picture is turned off. Right click on the selection and click Merge Visible. Label the pixel layer Method 1. Reselect the sky layer and the other layers we previously selected. Press Ctrl and G to group the layers together. Label the group Method 1 and turn it off. Drag the merge layer into the Method 1 group also. Now we'll do the second method on how to turn day to night. In the Layers panel, turn the original layer back on and delete the copy layer. We're going to replace the sky first. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, make sure the Add mode is selected and that Snap to Edges is checked. Take the brush and select the sky. Then press Ctrl, Shift, and I to invert the selection. In the Context toolbar, select Refine. 
Set the output to new layer with mask. Now go to file open and select the sky image. Copy the image and paste it onto the document. Label this layer sky. In the layers panel, drag the sky layer beneath the layer with the mask. Take the move tool and resize the sky image the way you see it on the screen. With the sky layer selected, go to the layers panel and select the adjustments icon. Click the curves adjustment. We'll use this adjustment to slightly darken the sky picture. Drag the curves adjustment into the sky layer. Select the point on the left and drag it to the right. The X axis for the point is 0.215 and the Y is zero. Now place a point in the center of the curve and drag it down. The X axis for this point is 0.502 and the Y axis is 0.339. Next, go to the layers panel and click the add pixel layer icon to add a new layer. Go to the tools panel and grab the color picker tool. Take the tool and click on an area of the sky to grab a color from it. We'll fill the pixel layer with this color. After selecting the color, go to the swatches panel and click the color circle beside the color picker. This will make the primary color that color. Now make sure the new pixel layer we added is selected in the layers panel. Then go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color. If you want to use the exact color I grabbed from the sky, the hex code for it is 043B4B. In the layers panel, turn the filled layer off. We'll come back to it in a minute. Select the mask layer above the sky layer. Grab the selection brush tool from the tools panel. Take the brush and select the rock area. Make sure you're in the add mode and that snap to edges is checked. Once you've selected the rock area, press Ctrl and J to place the selection onto a new layer. Label this layer rock. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect the area. In the layers panel, select the fill layer. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer or right click on the layer and select duplicate. Drag the duplicated fill layer into the rock layer and turn it on. Change the blend mode of the fill layer to glow. Then lower the opacity to about 63%. Select the mask layer we selected before. Grab the selection brush tool from the tools panel. In the context toolbar, select the add mode and check snap to edges. This time, take the brush and select the water. Switch to the subtract mode, then select the boat so that it's not a part of the water selection. After you've selected the water, press Ctrl and J to place the selection onto a new layer. Label this layer water. Press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection. In the layers panel, select the other filled layer and drag it inside the water layer and turn it on. Set the blend mode to multiply and lower the opacity to about 59%. Now grab the selection brush tool from the tools panel. In the layers panel, select the mask layer we selected before. Make sure you're in the add mode in the context toolbar. Take the brush and select the boat. Press Ctrl and J to put the selection of the boat onto a new layer. Label this layer boat. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect. With the boat layer selected, click the adjustments icon in the layers panel and select the curves adjustment. We want to darken the boat a little. Drag the adjustment inside of the boat layer. Add a point on the curve in the same area you see on the screen. Then drag this point down. The X axis of this point is 0.474 and the Y axis is 0.281. Now, add another point on the curve in the area you see on the screen. The x-axis of this point is 0.849 and the y-axis is 0.676. In the layers panel, select the mask layer we selected for the other selection and delete it. Now, select the sky layer and all the layers above it. Right click on the selected layers and click Merge Visible. Label the Merge Layer Method 2. Select the other layers we just selected. Press Ctrl and G to group the layers together and label the group Method 2. 
you can turn the group off in the layers panel. And this is how to turn day to night in Affinity Photo. Comment below which method do you like better, method one or method two. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon so you'll always be notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching.